Hey everybody, Scout Crafty here again. Uh, you know what today is. Today is Friday. That means that this Monday, after the weekend, is the uh, TD's Oil Can Challenge entry date. So that'll be the 1st of April. If you, uh, if you have a video, you can post the video on your own channel and or copy the link and put it on TD's entry. And on his page, I'll have a link underneath. And uh, if you're just putting in a photograph, a before and after or something, you can send it to me. And I'll put it in the video and I'll have that uh, information at the end of the video, my email address. And uh, hopefully you've started it. If not, you have all weekend to do it. It should be fun. I've finished mine. Looking forward to it. So let's get okay, that going. Uh, for today's project, um, you remember these. I had some of these uh, screwdriver shafts. So I figured today... I will uh, maybe make a flat screwdriver. Here's a nice shaft. Just looking for a handle. And I have some of this nice, beautiful, three-quarter inch hexagonal bar stock, 6061 aluminum. And uh, I love hex stock. I mean, it looks so classic. And so let's see if we can uh, make something out. The first thing we're going to have to do is cut a piece off of here. I want to show you how to cut a piece so that it's fairly square. Because normally, for some reason, uh, hacksaws have a tendency to want to drift one way or the other and give you a uh, kind of an offset cut. So I'm going to show you how to make a, uh, a pretty square cut with a hacksaw. Okay, first thing you're going to need is a piece, an index card or any kind of card stock, even a piece of paper will work. Figure out about how long you want your uh, shaft. And here we're going to have it uh, about this long. Again, I don't do too much measuring, but uh, I know what I like. And, and so... What we're going to do is we're going to place it here with a piece of tape over here, and that'll just hold one section down. Wrap the cardstock around here until it matches up perfectly. It's got to match up perfectly on this side. Once it's matched up here, as you can see, you take another piece of tape, like here, and we just put it down here, and that'll secure that. Now, you have a line that goes all the way around, and we could trace that with a Sharpie or something, and that'll transfer the line onto here. You could also slip this up and down a little bit um, if you had to, like I said, or you can, whatever size you wanted. But once you trace the line on here, now you have a line that goes all the way around. Now, once you use a Sharpie and you trace around the end of the uh, paper, you just rip this off here, and what you'll have now is you'll have a line that'll go all the way around and just like that it's a perfect line and you could do this on round stock or as you can see hexagon now i'll show you at the hacksaw okay now we're at the hacksaw we're going to make sure our blade is tight and you know uh you always want to have your hacksaw blade tight and uh it should be so that there's very little movement from left to right on here and then what we're going to do is we're going to take and uh mount our bar in the vise and we're going to split the line that we drew with the hacksaw and we're going to start with a couple draw up cuts couple cuts going back so that'll uh that'll make your line uh visible and now that you can you have your line you're going to keep the hacksaw straight and saw just a little bit through and you're going to go down a little bit till you get to the point where about the half your blade is covered with the uh, with the saw and i'll show you what that looks like okay now that you can see we established our cut we're going to rotate either if it's round stock or this is a hexagon stock. We're just going to rotate it and we're going to do the same thing again. And we're going to do that on all uh, and this uh, all six sides for the hex rod. But you could, if you had round stock, you would just rotate it about six times and do the same thing until your line is one solid cut. Now, if you look here, you can see we finished that cut, and that's a pretty square cut considering it's done with a hacksaw. A lot of times, the hacksaw will tend to want to drive and give you a uh, an offset cut, but here we have a, a decent cut. We're happy with that, and now we can put it in the lathe and start our project.
Okay, welcome back to the attic, and up here is where um, uh, I decided that uh, I was. Everybody was saying the other day that maybe I should start signing my stuff. Well, today's the first day. I'm gonna put something on there, so let's go check okay, it out. Okay, I'd like to introduce you to my new Herms, uh, or Hermes, I don't even know how it's pronounced, but I've had these for over 20 years, and they're engraving machines. I have two of them. One is motorized, this one isn't, and uh, you can see here we have the screwdriver handle in here, and it's a pantograph type uh, engraver, and what you do is, there's a little diamond tip there, and you follow this in these letters. And here we have what we're going to put down there. This is the font. We have different fonts that I have. And I like this type of font. So we're going to follow along here. And that will engrave it onto the screwdriver. So let's see how that works. Now we took it over to the dake for a uh, quick press fit. And you know my favorite part. Remember what this screwdriver looked like before we started. And we're calling this project done. Uh, this was a lot of fun. And you could see how the Scalcrafter lettering came out there with the engraver. Came out very nice on both sides. And um, it is a pol and it's done to a, you could see it's a mirror polish all the way around. But uh, what took me a little bit longer is um, I had to keep putting it in my hand to make sure it was comfortable. And I wanted this soft part back here against the palm. And it's just a beautiful balanced screwdriver. Has a little bit of red jeweling in the back there in that hole. But uh, mirror polish, uh, a nice hexagon screwdriver. Hex is always a, a really nice uh, material to work with and it don't take much but uh, hope you enjoyed this project this was a fun one thanks very much for tuning in and uh, take care bye bye